we have a new drawing tool to show you and that tool is called circle now you might be thinking that's fairly obvious it's the circle drawing tool but let us dive into it every little aspect and detail so that you can use this tool to the best of your ability we're going to show you a use case the settings and maybe just have some fun explaining different uh, uh, ways you can use it in your research and charting. Let's jump right into it. We're going to delete all the images on this chart. And what we have in front of you right here is a 30-year fixed rate mortgage chart in the United States. So this chart shows you how much someone is paying to get a loan to buy a house. Holy smokes, if you look back in the 80s, someone was paying, or a lot of people were paying, 18%. In the mid-80s to later 80s, it went down to 14%. And if you look closely, this trend has been going down for quite some time, until recently, it spiked. So if you were doing some research and wanted to share this chart with someone, you wanted to demonstrate this long-term trend that's going down, when people used to once pay over 15% for a mortgage, now they pay 4% and not long ago just 2%. Well, we would go to our trend line, select the tool, find our starting point where we think the tr downtrend begins. We'd click to initiate the trend line. We would just move our mouse down to where we think the trend ends and click again to set the trend line. So what we have here now is a trend line demonstrating this very obvious point in time or this trend in time that has occurred. It's pretty fascinating because this is all about home ownership. So let's highlight this even more now. Let's really demonstrate our research. We can share this. We can send it to social media, include it in our email newsletter, or save the chart for our own personal layout. We select the circle tool because watch how this chart now comes to life. What we're doing with the circle tool now is demonstrating each point where this trend line came into point and had a point of contact with the price or with the percentage rate and then got rejected. Of course on a Mac we can just hold command and drag to copy and move the exact circle on the chart and now what we've done is we've created a beautiful chart that really you just can't miss. It now looks exactly like what it's trying to convey. There is a long-term downward trend line in 30-year fixed rate mortgages. These circles highlight each point in time where this trend line hit price or hit the percentage rate. And what's really interesting is every single time since the 1980s that the percentage rate has tried to break above this trend, guess what? Yep. You guessed it, it's just actually continued downward. And it's continued downward time and time again. These arrows we're just trying to demonstrate. You can kind of see what's happening here. So that is the circle tool. It's that easy. It's over here in geometric shapes. Click the little arrow here to open the menu. Select circle. Find the point in time where you want to draw this circle. And click. Now, all you have to do is move your mouse to expand its size. If we keep moving our mouse, it will keep expanding. We can make it as large as we want, but obviously we're trying to make some pinpoint research here, so we're actually going to reduce the size, click again, the circle is now set, and it's live on our chart. This is exactly what this tool can be used for. There are so many other use cases, of course. If you are drawing chart art or just trying to have fun, you could use the circle for all sorts of cool, colorful, and interesting things, whether you're, we say this, of course, you know, just to have some fun, but if you wanted to, you could quite literally draw a smiley face using the circle. We're just demonstrating that chart art is sometimes a great way to Take a break from the charts, have some fun, relax a little. The circle tool is more than an analytical tool. It's another way for you to explore your creative side. When researching assets, uh, you know, taking a break from the charts, but also more specifically, it's another tool for you to do your best research. Okay, before we wrap up here, we do just want to dive into a few quick things. This is a chart of Apple. 
let's say we notice another trend line. We believe this trend has been going, you know, there's a firm trend sort of established. It started here in September 2020, and it's been intact for quite some time. So we just take our circle tool and let's just do this once again. We're drawing these circles to highlight to our audience, to anyone watching, that this trend at each circular circle here came, price came in contact with the trend that we're observing. Now, if you double click on a circle, you can change the border in the background of that circle. What is the border? Well, click the color and let's say we select white. You can see now the circle is white. What is the background? It's exactly what it sounds. It is the color behind or, you know, that's that makes up the fill of the circle. So maybe we want this to be blue. Now you can see it's blue. Double click again. And you can also change the opacity. So if we drag this up, it goes up to 100% opacity. Keep in mind, opacity means that's how much you'll see um, uh, on the chart or how little you'll see on the chart. So we double click. Let's reduce the opacity once again to 7%. You can now see how light the blue is. But watch what happens when we take this opacity to 50%. And remember, this applies to all drawing tools. Opacity is how you change the strength of the color and all it takes is just dragging and sliding this wheel or typing in the percentage. Coordinates. The coordinates are really helpful if you want to type in a specific point in the circle. For example, watch this circle. We're going to type in 125 and let's do 125, 125 and we click and now you can see the circle expanded and this can be used to draw specific circles that encapsulate specific price points in addition let us actually delete all these other circles that we drew in addition you can use the coordinates just to double check where your circle what what price points your circle is coming in contact with so you double click you can see your coordinates here and now you know just how close you are to certain price levels. 149.84, why not just round that up to 150? 141.74, why not just round that up to 142? And we're just doing this for the simple aesthetics and feel of knowing our circle now is connected to round whole numbers. Visibility, as you know, is the same for all drawing tools. This visibility tool is how you control where you want this circle to be seen. We are looking at a weekly chart. We have one week shown. If we uncheck week, that circle disappears. But if we go to a daily chart, now we'll see that circle. Because if you open up the settings, we are choosing not to see this circle on a weekly, but still on a daily. So remember, visibility means you can customize where and how and why you want to see specific drawing tools or objects or indicators what time frame? That's what you're answering. I only want to see this circle on the monthly chart. So let's uncheck everything. We will now only see this orange circle on the monthly chart. We're on a daily, it's not there. We're on a weekly, it's not there. We go to a monthly, and if we zoom in, there it is. So that is the visibility tool. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the circle. Remember, it's right here in your geometric shapes. There are countless ways to use this tool. Go ahead and get started. Have some fun. Do your best research. Draw on your chart. Have some chart art fun if you need it. And thanks for watching. Any tips, comments, suggestions, you can leave below. Cheers.